What's up you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be trying a viral TikTok Barbie food hacks. I'm pretty sure we have all seen this Barbie movie all over the internet and whenever I logged on to TikTok and I went to my mentions, my mentions were going crazy guys. So many of you guys that were tagging me in like Starbucks drink recipes that look like Barbie drinks, also a lot of Barbie food hacks and I was like you know what let's just film a video of testing Barbie food hacks because I love to film these videos and you guys absolutely love to watch them so I was like what the heck let's Let's do it. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. So for our first food hack, we're gonna head over to Starbucks and we're going to be getting the Barbie Frappuccino. This drink is so bright pink, like it literally has Barbie written all over it. Now I don't think here in the US they ever like officially launched a Barbie Frapp at Starbucks, but I believe in Mexico they did, but it's okay, don't you worry, don't you worry, because I found a TikTok video of a barista that teaches you how to order it. Let me show you. As you saw, it does not look like a complicated order. It looks very easy. So let's go to Starbucks and let's get our drink. Look how good this looks like. What's up? What's up? Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. It's not like bright, bright pink. It's more of like a purplish, pinkish, like a mauve color, but that's okay because I wanna know what it tastes like. But first, let me take a picture for Instagram so I can post it on my story. Got it. Boom, took the picture. I think I've only had a vanilla frappuccino one time and I thought it was like too sweet for me. And I got that when I was like, I think like 13 or 14. Bruh. I wonder what it's gonna taste like with the dragon fruit. Or I might've tried this already. Y'all, I try so many Starbucks drinks that at this point, I don't know what I've tried and what I haven't tried, but let me take a sip of this one. This is so fire. It's like a strawberry milkshake. And I'm loving it. Ooh. It's a little bit sour. I'm thinking because of the dragon fruit, but I love it. It's like sweet and sour. I'm mixing the whipped cream in here so we can take another sip. Well, that's better. I'm gonna rate this drink 8.5 out of 10. I honestly feel like if I would've gotten this drink when I was like six or seven, when I was like obsessed with Barbies, I would've literally been screaming for this drink because like the color is just so cute. It's like so aesthetic. <laughs> All right guys, so for the next food hack, we came to an ice cream shop because I was scrolling on TikTok and I came across like one of those little ads and it said Barbie theme ice cream. And I got so excited, but then I was like, now that I think about it, like the ice cream shop is super far away because I was looking at so many Barbie things that I got the ad. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just Google it. I Googled it and it turns out the ice cream shop is only five minutes away from my house. And I was like, yes, yes. This is literally perfect for my video. So I went on the website and it says that they still have the ice cream. So let's go get it. Oh my god, guys, they even have a Barbie cake. Shut up. Y'all, this is literally expectation versus reality. What happened? This does not look like the picture that they have up there. First of all, she said that they ran out of the little cups that holds the ice cream, which I mean, is understanding. I think it's been like a couple of days since the movie released, but this doesn't look like the picture. Um, I need a refund. Just kidding, but we're gonna try it. It's okay, it might not look the prettiest, but maybe it's really good. Let me show you guys what it is. This is pink cotton candy ice cream with graham cracker pie crust and dance party sprinkles and whipped topping. Okay, it sounds delicioso, but let's try it. Mmm. Oh, never mind. Wait, what? At first it tasted like strawberry, then it started tasting like cotton candy. Where's the graham cracker? Mmm. It, it's all right. I think for me, it's the sprinkles. I make it a little too much because I feel like there's so, so many sprinkles in here. But I'm going to rate the ice cream six out of 10. All right, guys, before we move on to the next food hack, I want to give a big shout out to ThreadUp for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you guys have never heard of ThreadUp, ThreadUp is an online consignment and thrift store where you can find some of your favorite brands for up to 90% off. So I know a lot of you guys are going back to school pretty soon. I have been doing a lot of secondhand shopping at ThreadUp for my family and also for myself. 
So once my kids go back to school, my routine is going to completely be changing and I'm gonna have more time for me. I recently started running and I picked up some really cute pieces that I wanna show you guys. So here's one of the pieces that I picked up. I got this Aloe Yoga sports bra. I had been wanting to try Aloe Yoga for the longest, except their stuff can be quite pricey. So when I saw that they had an Aloe Yoga section, I was like, oh my God, let me look through this. I found this sports bra. I paid $24 and these usually retail for $60. And I also got this Nike Squirt. I had been wanting one of these for the longest. I feel like squirts and tennis dresses have been trending a lot lately. And I was like, oh my God, I need to get this. It was only $38 and these usually retail for $70. And I was like, this is literally the perfect outfit for me to go on a run. Then of course I had to get these Nike running shorts. I love the color. It's like pink. It has some orange and also like this blue color and they're super comfortable. I also got this set active sports bra and guys, this one is in really good condition. That's one of the reasons that I really love shopping with Reda because you can find some really good pieces and also at a really good price. Last but not least, I got this really cute shoulder bag. I feel like these have been trending a lot lately, like just a very simple bag. I will leave a link down below guys in the description box. You guys can click on the link and it'll show you similar items to the ones that I got. And guys, do not forget to use my code PETA for an extra 40% off your first order. Like you guys are gonna find really good pieces at a really good price on the website. And if you use my code, you'll get an extra 40% off your first order guys. So don't forget to use my code PETA. And once again, thank you Threda for sponsoring this portion of the video. And now let's go back to the food hack. <laughs> All right guys, this is not a food hack, but when I was buying everything that I needed for the food hacks, I came across this limited edition Barbie drink. This is in the flavor Barbie Pink Lemonade, zero grams of sugar. We're going to try this drink out and see what it tastes like. Oh my God, I don't even care if the drink is not good. I will literally walk around with this just because I think it's so pretty. It's giving very aesthetic vibes. Let's try the drink. Cheers. <laughs> what? I know it says zero sugar, but usually they use like artificial sugar or something. This has no, like none, zero sugar, guys. Try it, Jason. How, One sip. Is it really that bad? The aftertaste, not even like the aftertaste, but as soon as you drink Ugh. it. It tastes like. Also the smell, smell it. It smells like, like it expired. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like rotten fruit, Yeah, right? like rotten fruit. Oh my God. This, guys, I'm going to have to rate this drink right here a 2 yeah. out of 10. I did not like it. All right, guys. And next, we're going to be making a Barbie candy popcorn. And all you need is popcorn, vanilla extract, food coloring, butter, sugar, water, and salt. But let me show you the TikTok video on how you can make it. It looks super easy, so let's attempt to make it. I'm gonna take six tablespoons of butter and we're going to melt it. My pan is nice and hot already. Now that the butter is completely melted, we're gonna take one cup of sugar. I'm also going to be adding one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then we're also going to be doing three tablespoons of water. There we go. And then we're also going to be adding food coloring. This food coloring, guys, looks like really, really pink. So I'm gonna do maybe three drops. That might have been a little bit too much, but it's okay. Let's mix it and let's see what color we get. It smells so good, guys. I'm excited to try the popcorn. I feel like this is more of like a light pink color and I want like that vibrant pink. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna do this very fast because it's literally already bubbling. We're gonna do like that much. Oh Let's my see. God, that that's too much? a lot. This is literally the color that I wanted and the consistency is also perfect. So I'm gonna turn this off and we're going to let it cool down for like a minute and then we're gonna pour it over the popcorn and we're gonna try them. Five minutes later. So I let it cool down and this is the consistency that you want. See, now it doesn't have the bubbles. We're going to evenly pour it all over the popcorn. Look how good the popcorn looks. I feel like I just learned a new hack because now I feel like I'm gonna take my popcorn to another level. I love caramel popcorn, guys, but I didn't know it was this easy to make a candy popcorn at home. I'm just going to mix it until all the popcorn is fully covered. So the popcorn is fully covered. I also put it in the fridge for one minute so the sugar can harden. And this is what it looks like. Here comes the fun part. We're gonna 
gonna try the popcorn. Here we go, let's take a bite. That is so good. I'm gonna rate this popcorn 9.5 out of 10. Like, I can easily finish this entire thing. From now on, whenever I want something else besides just like butter popcorn, I'm gonna make these because number one, they're so easy to make, and number two, they're delicious. <laughs> All right, guys, so you saw that I went to Starbucks and I got the Barbie Frappuccino. I ended up paying $7.82 for the drink. So basically, if you round it up, $8 for a grande, which if you ask me, that's quite pricey. So I found a TikTok video of how you can make the Barbie Frappuccino at home. Let me show you. we're going to pour our ice into the blender and then you're also going to be needing some frozen dragon fruit that should be good then we're going to take some half and half milk on the video she didn't say how much so i'm just going to eyeball it i think that should be good next we're going to take some raspberry syrup so we can add some more flavor again she didn't say how much so i'm just eyeballing it and then i'm also going to take some vanilla syrup as well now we're going to oh wait i almost forgot the vanilla extract just a splash there we go. Now let's blend it. All right, guys, the drink is ready. It looks like it's a perfect consistency. We're gonna pour it in the cup. That was literally the perfect amount, like perfect. We're gonna top it off with whipped cream. So I'm gonna take some of the dragon fruit chunk and we're going to put them on top like this. Okay, so far it looks pretty legit. It looks like the Starbucks one. So here's a close up of the drink so you guys can really see it up close and personal. Now let's try it and let's see if it tastes like the Starbucks one. Whoa, that's really good. It tastes very similar to the Starbucks one. I'm gonna mix the whipped cream in here because that's exactly what I did with the other drink as well so we can give it a fair chance. If you ask me, this tastes pretty legit. I'm gonna rate the drink a eight out of 10. To me, guys, if you ask me, it tastes very similar to the Starbucks one and you might as well just save $8 and make it at home because it tastes pretty similar. <laughs> All right, guys, for the last food hack, we're going to be making the viral Bari pasta. Let me show you the TikTok on how you can make it. I'm gonna be totally honest, I'm a little bit iffy about the pasta just because it requires beets, and I'm honestly not the huge fan, but we're still going to try it. So for the pasta, all I did is I just boiled the pasta with water for like about eight minutes, and now we have the pasta ready to go. The next step is we're going to take a blender, and to the blender, you're going to be adding some sour cream. So let's add some sour cream here. Now in the video, she didn't say any measurements, but again, we're just going to eyeball it. I think that should be enough. Enough. Then we're going to take the beets. I'm just using canned beets because I feel like these are easier to use because if you use the other ones, you have to peel them and it's a whole process. We're gonna do about three of these and let's add some of the juice. One garlic clove and last but not least, salt. Let's cover it up and let's blend it. So let's take the sauce. Let's see how thick it is. I honestly think that's perfect. Now we're going to dump it into the pan. Ooh, that looks perfect. Perfect. I have to try it. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Can you taste the beets? You can yeah. taste the beets, uh. but I feel like it's not that bad because you can also taste a little bit of the garlic. You can definitely taste the sour cream. It makes it like really creamy. And then the salt like added that seasoned flavor. So now we're going to let this boil for probably like two minutes. And then we're gonna dump the pasta and we're gonna try it. So the sauce has started boiling. So now I'm going to add the pasta. Dude, that literally yeah. looks like pepto -bismo. The color, oh my God, I didn't even think of that. Guys, the color did change once it started boiling. It got like more pink. Pink, but that's perfect because today's video it's all about pink and Barbie I'm going to let it cook for like another minute or so and let it cool down And then we're finally gonna try the pasta and see what it tastes like. All right guys Here's a close-up of the pasta. It looks so pretty and so pink So hopefully it does not disappoint and it's pretty good. So let's take the first bite. Cheers Okay, wait. I'm not sure if I like the sauce now that it's mixed and once it like boiled and everything. I usually love garlic, you guys know this, but 
whoa for some reason this garlic is like really strong maybe i should have added just half of the garlic or maybe the garlic got like this the taste got a little bit more stronger once it mixed with the beets and the beets flavor is very strong i can also taste the beets a lot and for some reason the salt completely disappears so this literally just tastes like plain beets with garlic pasta again the video didn't really give any measurements so i was just kind of like eyeballing everything so maybe if we got like exact measurements the taste of the pasta and the sauce would have been a little bit better i'm gonna rate this pasta a three out of ten all right guys that is the end of today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up also if you guys want to see a part two let's get this video to 10,000 likes if you guys come across any barbie recipes on tiktok make sure to add me at make white pita so i can see them also guys do not forget to subscribe to the channel so you can keep on growing i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys on the next one peace yeah 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 Ay, coming in yeah flex i just wanna win yeah la bb who we running with